Hallelujah, glory to God. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You are welcome. If this is the first time you're seeing me, God bless you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for clicking on this video. I pray it blesses you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, God laid this word in my heart and I thought to share with us. You know, the Bible says, if you are willing and obedient, you are going to eat the good of the land. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. It means every land has a good. It means there is a good in every land that you should eat of. But for some reason, it is not um, feasible in your case. You do not, you cannot testify that you have been able to eat the good of the land of where you are. There are people in that land that are prospering. There are people in that land that are having, that are excelling, but you cannot account for that. You, that your story is not the same. And the Bible equally say in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 10, chapter, Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 10, 9 rather, Moreover, the profit of the land is for all. Even the king is served from the field. It means there is a profit from the land that you are supposed to partake of. But for some reason, you do you cannot share that testimony. For some reason, that is not your testimony. I want to pray with you and believe God that you're going to partake of the profit of the land in the name of Jesus. You say you have been willing and obedient, and yet you cannot testify that you're eating of the good of the land. I come against every force that has hindered you from reaping of this promise in the name of Jesus. I come against every force that has stopped you from benefiting from the good of the land where you are in, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says if you're willing, and obedient if you are willing and obedient sometimes we, we are not even willing because we do not know that there is a good in that land we do not have that information and so we are not even willing and talkless of being obedient obedient to what obedient to the laws of that place obedient to how that place operates that's how you're going to be able to eat the good of the land but i want to pray for someone that has been willing and obedient and yet for some reason it doesn't reach you it is not natural it is not natural there's a force that is stopping you from reaping of the good of that land i pray for you may you reap the good of the land in the name of jesus because it is for you too you should partake of it if kings are served of that you too you deserve to be served of that i pray for you you from today henceforth you are eating the good of the land wherever you are in the name of Jesus, that land will answer for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. God bless you abundantly.